There is a legendary strip of roadway along the North Carolina-Tennessee border, very close to the Smoky Mountains. It is known as Tail of the Dragon, 318 curves in just 11 miles, but it also has its dangers. Well, we decided to take a trip up after viewing some of these photos to try to ascertain why there are so many accidents and how riders can get into trouble. It's beautiful, it's picturesque, but it's very important to remember that it is not a racetrack. It is still a roadway, and if you're not careful, your motorcycle parts could end up here in the Tree of Shame. Come along with us, we're gonna take a ride and inspect why the Tail of the Dragon can be so dangerous to so many. It can be a lot of fun, but you absolutely have to be on your game. This is pretty wild, guys. Very scenic. It reminds me of, of trail riding. I feel like I'm in the woods, except there's pavement. So street bike Shangri-La, but definitely a situation where you got to be on your game here. I'm going as slow as I can, waiting for motorcycles to come around the corner. Here is the number one reason for accidents, and that is speed. Speed limit's actually 30 miles an hour, but many, double, maybe even triple that in some spots. And it's important to remember again, it's not a racetrack. This is what the tail's all about. Look at this turn. Yeah. This is like some tight woods riding right here. Well, this is why when people ask me, how do I get involved in motorcycle riding? I always tell them, learn in the dirt, learn in the woods, because if you crash in the woods, a car's not gonna run you over. That could happen here, unfortunately. This turn. Our second biggest reason for crashes is people ending up in the wrong lane. Take a look, there's not much margin for error. And if somebody goes too fast, if somebody comes into a corner too hot, they're gonna end up in oncoming traffic. It's not a divided highway. You put a lot of faith in the other person, that's for sure. One smart rider told me he thought the best time to ride the Dragon was a weekday morning before volume got real heavy on the weekend. I'll tell you, there's not much margin for error if you miss a corner to the right either. All right, Cycle Drag Universe, I hate to be a dad here, but I'm going to be honest with you. I pulled over for a little bit. I want to give you a good look. I, I'm getting a little bit nervous up here. This is, this is a great motorcycle destination spot, but man, if you're watching this for the first time, you want to come here, please, please be careful. I've seen so many spots already that give me chills because if you miss one of these corners, I don't know if you can see down there, there's about a 100, 200 foot drop. There's just a lot of places to get into trouble. This this really reminds me of high level trail riding. The only difference is I wish it was one way. I hate the fact that it's two way. Um, and if you come here, you gotta be 100% sober. I know a few of you out there like to have a little cocktail on your motorcycle. This is not the place to do it. Uh, you need a high, high level of skill. And not only that, you, you put a lot of faith in the people in the other lane, right? So you gotta be uber defensive. I think it's cool, I think it's great. This scenery is beautiful, but I will tell you this as a dirt bike rider, I would much rather be in the trails, but I still think it's pretty cool. I mean, look at some of these divots. Look at some of these holes. You miss, you miss this corner, whoo! My Hayabusa is getting launched into Never Never Land, so. It really is a cool place, but you, you really got to be on your game if you come here. Absolutely. A level head and a constant reminder that this is not a racetrack will benefit greatly. And what do we know, guys? There's a lot of people in the motorcycle community that just can't check their ego. I pulled over three times because I had guys behind me doing wheelies and all this other stuff. And you know cycle drag. I love that stuff, especially on a drag strip. But whew, I've heard terrible stories that uh, there usually are a few accidents here and I can tell you this, I don't know that I would be comfortable bringing a loved one on the back. I don't know if I would want that on my conscience. That's the feeling that I get here if you guys are picking up on that. I don't want to poo-poo on this because I would ride this and I will ride this someday, but I don't know if I would want a loved one on the back. That really raises the stakes. This is a perfect example right here. You miss this corner, you're going deep into the woods. I just had a guy on a sport bike cut right in front of me head on. These guys are playing Russian roulette with their lives here. I just keep pulling off and letting people go ahead of me. There's another thing though I don't like. Sports cars up the rear end of motorcycles. 
seen it a few times already. It's not, uh, I don't know if they're friends or what, but it's certainly not respectful. Give that motorcycle space if you're in a car, guys, come on. This tourist destination on the North Carolina, Tennessee border can be a lot of fun and police do patrol it. Problem is police can't make it safe 100% of the time. And that's why you have to be on your game at every single moment. We caught up with a veteran rider and a rider taming the dragon for the very wow. first time. Let's get their reaction. Wow. <laughs> How's it feel to shred the dragon? I love it. Man, you're flying out there. I've been here 25 years. So it helps to know the lay of the land a little bit, I imagine, Absolutely. huh? Absolutely. How about you? Tell me about your experience. Man, I'm new to this. <laughs> what do you think? This is great. Love it. The roads are perfect, you know? It's, uh, weather's perfect. Bikes are running great. Can't beat it. I feel like we're in the woods trail riding. You know, if yeah. there wasn't a strip of pavement here, I'd think we were on dirt bikes. That's what I was doing before you, I, they said, go get your bike. Cycle drag's here. I'm like, I'll go get it. <laughs> I was trout fishing and motocrossing earlier today. Very cool. Great job, guys. Yeah, the Gen 3 Suzuki Hayabusa. A lot of people really digging this bike, including yours truly. Let me know what you think down below. Motorcycle drag racers, here's something you recognize, the Hayabusa. This one, a Gen 3, already got a Brock's Performance Exhaust System on it. Look at this lovely couple. Please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Zach. Nice and Carrie, nice. from New Hampshire, we just came across the Dragon. Don't tell me he rode you down from New Hampshire on the back of a Busa. <laughs> No, but last time I did go across this was on the 20, no, was it? 2020 Busa. 2020 Busa. Ooh, that young lady deserves a medal. You found, <laughs> you found a good woman right there. And the quick shifter, the ABS, everything on it is flawless. How about the, your impression of the dragon here? I mean, this just seems like motorcycle paradise. It oh, is we are, from, we are from New Hampshire. There is no roads like this in New Hampshire. No, we love this place. That's for sure, guys. It's, it's awesome, but you do have to be very careful out there, which I see you are being. Last thing is, do you ever get to ride it? I have no, no, he doesn't let me on the front. I've actually only rode this one twice because I got my new Can-Am and that's what I ride behind him. Well, beautiful bike, enjoy. A trip to this beautiful roadway can be a lot of fun, but please avoid this. Be smart, be on your game, wear all your safety gear, be ultra defensive and have fun. If you've ever ridden the Dragon and have any tips or stories, leave them down below. Safe riding guys, enjoy, have a good ride. Ladies and gentlemen, the legend, the legend is here. How are you doing, sir? I'm cycle dragging, I'm cycle dragging. That's what I'm doing, cycle dragging forever and ever and ever. You are the man. Sweep the leg, right? Sweep the leg, no mercy, and cycle dragging. Share with your friends. If you keep it growing, we're going to keep bringing you awesome stuff like this. Thanks a lot.